This video is titled, How to Get Whatever You Want in Life. And I know that that's a really big promise and it's a really big ask, but if you simplify it, it's actually not that complex of an issue. You can have whatever you want in life, but there's a very simple formula that you have to follow. So in this video, I'm gonna discuss that formula in detail. So watch this video all the way through so you can know exactly how to get whatever you want in life. Make sure you hit the like button on this side. In this side, right over there, the sun just went down. It's a beautiful day today. And if you're having a great day yourself, leave a comment down below that says, it's a beautiful day. Comment down below, it's a beautiful day. And let's dive right into this video. So think about this. Have you ever done something for somebody that you don't do for yourself? It's really weird, right? Like we treat other people better than we treat ourselves. We treat other people how we want to be treated, but we don't treat ourselves that way. And we do this in a lot of ways. We do this with like half-assing our work. Um, we do this with not eating well. We do this with not doing our meditation or our hypnosis. And you know, people that are familiar with this channel know I have a free success hypnosis that you can check out. It's a success hypnosis to reprogram your subconscious. It's right there down below. It's jakeshypnosis.com right there down below. But it's like we, we do the things for other people that we know we should do with ourselves, but then we don't do them for ourselves, And it creates this really weird um, self-esteem issue where we don't realize how great we are. You think you're too fat. You think you're too dumb. You think you're not good with numbers. You think you're unlovable. You think you're not that smart. You think you're not that good looking. You think you're just overall not that capable. You just can't do it. You just can't figure it out. There's no way. You're just not as good as them. And we just beat ourselves up. Sometimes in our head, but sometimes just with our actions. By not doing the things that we'll do for other people. The most important relationship that you'll ever have is a relationship with yourself. And it's a relationship everybody neglects and nobody thinks really matters. Most people don't even know it exists. They don't even realize they're having a relationship with themselves. But why is your relationship with yourself so important? Think about it. So you're building a self-image with every single action that you take all day long. And so if you have a poor relationship with yourself, if you do things for other people that you don't do for yourself, if you, if you uh, don't take care of yourself emotionally with your thoughts, with your foods, with the actions you take, with cutting out unhealthy people and unhealthy things and unhealthy situations. Um, what happens is what you're really saying is I'm not worthy of love. I'm not worthy of abundance. I'm not worthy of success. I'm not worthy of what I want. And Wayne Dyer says, you don't get what you want. You get what you are. And I say Wayne Dyer says is because his spirit lives on. Wayne Dyer says, you don't get what you want. You get what you are big difference and what are you you are a vibrational frequency pattern that's what you are so based off of the vibrational frequency pattern that you admit you attract things that match that frequency pattern you don't get what you want you get what you are so your energy that you emit to the universe and to other people and to the world at large that is determined, quite simply, by your self-image. Your self-image sets up an overall frequency pattern. That frequency pattern determines what you do and do not get, attract, and have in your life. So if you can change your love for yourself and start to practice more love for yourself and ask yourself, what would it look like if I treated myself the way that I treat other people? Maybe you're always there for your mom or your brother or your boyfriend or your girlfriend or you're always there for your best friend. You always have the best advice. You always have great people to recommend. What would it look like if you did that for yourself? What would it look like if you started to get in better shape and you lost some of that weight? What would it look like if you started to get stronger? What would it look like if you started to eat healthier? 
what would it look like if you started to spend your Fridays and Saturdays instead of at the bar working on that additional source of income? What would it look like if you started to take care of yourself better? What would it look like if you started to talk to yourself better and you started to write lists of what you're grateful for every day? What would it look like if you started to meditate every day? What would it look like if you started to say yes to your desires and dreams and goals? What would it look like if you started going like this? Just hold it. I just drove back, did a road trip because I was visiting my wife's family. I just drove like this. That was like a real gift that I get. I smile at other people. Isn't that weird? Like sometimes even when people are depressed, they'll never smile, right? But then they'll go out to a store and they'll smile at everybody. Hey, how are you? So we do it for other people. Why don't you do it for yourself? So as we come to the end of this video, ask yourself, how can you show up for yourself more? What are the ways you are not showing up for yourself? What are the ways you can be a better friend to yourself and a better person to yourself? What's gonna happen is you're gonna build more confidence. When you build more confidence, you say no to all the crappy things in your life. And when you say no to all the crappy things in your life and the crappy ways you show up for yourself, you say yes to your ultimate destiny. You have a destiny beyond what you can imagine. And by you degrading yourself, by you not building yourself up, you're not only doing a disservice to yourself, but to everyone around you. And when you show up for yourself, your self-image changes, you realize you're a badass mofo. You're a badass mofo, you're a child of God, you're one with the universe, you are a divine being, you have the universe at your side, the miracle working presence of life is always available to you. And it's really exciting because it's like, oh my gosh, I am good enough for everything that I want in life. So make sure you hit the like button right over there. It's getting a little too dark. I need to cut the video now. So hit the like button right there and right there. It actually does send this out into the YouTube universe so more people see this. So hit the like button there and there. Leave a comment down below that says I love myself. Comment down below I love myself and then say it to yourself. Say it to yourself with a smile on your face. Go, I love myself. <laughs> so leave a comment down below that says I love myself. It's right there down below. And if you haven't yet, check out my free success hypnosis. It's jakeshypnosis.com. It's in the description in the comments right there down below. It's jakeshypnosis.com right there down below. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.